been a bit, so let's see if I can remember how to uh, do all this. So two weeks turned into two months. Usually it's about two weeks to get everything settled in for me when I move, but in this case, it took about two months. But before I get into it, let's explain what's gonna happen in this video. So first I'm gonna explain what's going on and that's pretty much the bad news for it. Then I'm gonna go into what the good news was since I've been away. Then I'm gonna end on my plans for the rest of December and January. So first and foremost, I moved up north. Only about an hour more up north, but it's a big change. But the real problem was power. The power was actually physically cut from this house that I moved into. So it took hydro a long time to hook that up. Six weeks to be exact. Meanwhile, I was cleaning and putting things away in the dark, but after the six weeks we had power and everything was good, except for the internet. Now the net has never been in this house before that I moved into, and little did I know there was some lines damage too. So that took another two weeks to set up. And the best part, the net's still broken. The best we can get up here is like 10 megabyte download and one megabyte upload. That's bad on its own, but the lines are also broken. So when they actually hooked it up, it was acting way slower than it's supposed to be. I downloaded Cyberpunk, the entire thing, using 600 KBs a second. It took me almost two days. The upload, don't even get me started on that because that's around 100 to 200 KBs upload. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know that's real bad. But that's not gonna stop me from making new videos. I have relatives that are like 45 minutes from here. They have great internet. I can use it to upload whatever I need. So I can record and edit any videos I need in my own home and then I can just go and have a visit with relatives and upload what I need. It only takes a couple hours so that's nothing. That just means I'll have to upload a couple videos at the same time but pace them out. But enough of that. That's all the bad news that I had to give you. Now for the awesome news. So first off I have a place to put my games. Before I had a couple games thrown under the change table and thrown under a TV stand or maybe in my clothes closet. But now I have a place to put everything and I have room to expand it all. As you can see, everything's kind of organized. I tried my best. I think it looks pretty good, just uh, from a first time organizing everything. So during that time the power was out, we actually had a generator hooked up and we renovated this room. This is the room that I'm using. This is where all the games are. This is where my computer is. This is where all my equipment is. So it's dedicated to making videos and that makes me really happy. I'm actually really excited to start doing it in this room because of this awesome background. Just some brick lay and uh, stained wood, but I think it looks really great with the lights and the camera and stuff. No more 100 year old lock. The gaming table couldn't fit down here, but it does look really nice as a dining room table, so I use it as a dining room table. So any gameplay of mine, you're gonna see in that room. But for any discussion or any talking, I get this. And this isn't it, I got some other stuff coming and I'm in the works of getting it all out, but it's gonna look awesome, I can't wait. So what are my plans for the rest of December? I have a few videos in line, especially in January. I have an awesome video idea I've been thinking about for the last two months and I, I can't wait to do it. It's more like a video essay and I'll say it involves World of Warcraft and board games and it might bring back some nostalgia for the other people, it did for me, but I'll hold on to it till I have it posted. Before that though, there's some enter the games I wanna do and a review in particular. Uh, the last enter the game I posted was when I was in the process of moving. I got a lot of feedback on that, a lot of people liked what I did, and there were some things I could change. So I'm dedicated to changing all the things people didn't like, and I think I have a good thing going with it. I think I know what direction I want to take it. Those are really easy for me to make because they're a lot of fun. They do take a bit of work, but they're great to do. I love opening up new games and playing them for the first time, and sharing that experience of playing a game for the first time with you guys is awesome. Just adds to the fun. So what's gonna change? So with this channel, I was dedicated to making quality content. I wanted to make the best videos I possibly could with my limited experience with camera work and lights and all that, and I wanted to just share my experiences on the internet. That being said, the unboxing videos were not the most creative. I said to myself in the beginning, well, I need to post a couple videos a week, so I'll do one really good video, work really hard on it, and then I'll do an unboxing video. The unboxing videos were simple, they were easy to do. My heart wasn't really into it. So I'm scrapping the unboxing, unless it's something huge and I'm excited about, like a big Kickstarter. Any Arena the Contest fans, you know I got Tarnaries coming. So pretty much in summary, expect a few more enter the games. Any kind of unboxing can be on those uh, episodes. Reviews are great. They take a lot of time and a lot of work, but I'll still hammer those out. The reviews take the longest. They take three days of constant editing, recording, 
all that. So I knew because of the length of time I was gone, I was going to lose some subs. And I lost about 11. But the good news is I gained 40. So hello everyone that's new, great to have you. But that made me really happy. I, I kept thinking about making videos and stuff while I was gone. I'm really excited to. I read every comment. I tried to keep up with content creators that I had contacts with before. I tried to keep people up to date as much as I could while going through all this. So there we go. So I'm making better content. I got an awesome background I'm gonna work on. I'm hoping this improved the quality and I'm gonna try to stick to one video a week and put as much effort as I can into these videos. So everyone who's new and everyone that's stuck around, thank you very much. You guys have been really encouraging and I love the likes and comments that you guys are giving, so thank you. I'm Mike, this is Plastic Bits, and I'll see you again soon. Felt good saying that.